Hello again, and if you don't know already, I'm Scott Florence, and just now I'm going to be talking about some more of the latest science news, more specifically about the Higgs boson and something unexpected that's been found in a different solar system. Okay, and enough of that, and the Higgs boson news is about what is to come, because on the 4th of July at 9pm in Geneva, at CERN, the home of the Large Hadron Collider, there's going to be data presented about the Higgs boson, either saying that they have found it or they haven't found it. Now this is going to be at 8am here, so I'm going to be watching it, and I'm going to aim to upload a video about it later that same day, in case any of you didn't have the chance to see it due to work, school, or living in an awkward time zone. Now there have been rumours that the Higgs boson has been found, and it has a mass of about 125 giga electron volts, but nothing can really be said for sure about this until next Wednesday. And in case you don't know already what the Higgs boson basically is, is in the same way that photons are light, the Higgs boson is to the Higgs field, and the Higgs field is what gives everything mass, according to the prediction made by the standard model. And both Atlas and CMS are going to be presenting data about what they have found from these proton collisions in this 27 kilometer long Large Hadron Collider. Next up, a new view on solar systems, and this is based on observations from Kepler-36, which is a star about 1,200 light years from us, and it has two planets orbiting it. Now these two planets, one is rocky and the other is a gas giant. The rocky one is described as a super Earth, it's about 1.5 times the size of the Earth and about 4.5 times the mass of the Earth. Whereas the gaseous planet is most similar to Neptune and it's about 8 times the mass of the Earth and about 3.7 times the size of the Earth. And the type of star that Kepler-36 is, is it's a subgiant, basically meaning it's brighter than the main sequence stars such as our Sun, but it's dimmer than the standard giant stars. Now what's been observed is these two planets have orbits that are surprisingly similar to one another's. Their orbital distance differs by only about 10% and their distance between one another is about 30 times closer than any two planets in our solar system, that being Mercury and Venus. Now it was previously thought that gas giants had to form much further out than rocky planets from their star because they needed to be cool enough for the gases and liquids that make them up to be able to stay together and form a planet, whereas rocky planets don't have that same issue, and over long periods of time slowly make their way closer to their host star, ejecting or annihilating any of the smaller rocky planets that are closer to the star. And because of that it was previously thought that no gas giant and smaller rocky planet could orbit so closely to one another and still be in a stable system. And yet this is the case, forcing astrophysicists to review what is possible in solar systems. That's all for now and thanks for watching. If you liked, like. If you want to comment, go ahead. And if you would like to see more of this sort of stuff, subscribe. I'm going to be doing another What Is video on Sunday. And then as I said earlier, hopefully on Wednesday I'm going to be uploading a video about whatever has happened at the CERN announcements, giving it a bit of an overview. So hopefully you stick around and I'll see you next time.